I am Kelly Carlson. I am one of the co-founders of Helping Hands Healing Hearts and currently I'm the group coordinator. Um, the group has now been going since 2007. The summer of 2007 was our first meeting and this is our second annual picnic. Um, we had another great turnout this year. A lot of heart families and a lot of people brought their extended family and friends this year because it's not something that just affects the immediate family, but also you know those that care about you know us and our kids. We started out uh, just myself and my friend that I co-founded the group with, and we had our first meeting in the summer of 2007. And I think there was maybe six or seven moms at the meeting. And now we've grown to we have monthly meetings, moms nights every other month, family events every other month. Um, we do fundraising. We now have about over 70 families in our group. Um, you know, some of them come to different things, you know, everybody's at a different point in their journey as a heart family. So they need the group or they, you know, come to the group for different things, either looking for the support that they need or the support that they can offer to a family that may be newly diagnosed. Because um, it's always nice to find somebody else to connect to because you often feel, you know, like it's not happening to anybody else when you're first diagnosed. My name is Lisa Scholl and my daughter Emily is our heart baby. She's doing very good. Now it's just catching up on the developmental milestones oh. <laughs> that she missed and that she's behind on due to being in the hospital as much as she was. I have two boys. Matthew is seven and Luke is five. My husband's a heart, a heart baby. And he's just turned four, or almost 41. He had his operation when he was, I think, about six months old, or six weeks old, I don't remember, when he was an infant. And he's never had to have any other surgeries as well. He had Peyton Ductus, and she has TGA, Transposition of the Great Arteries. Yeah. 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 Even though it's the number one birth defect, um, I think most of us didn't know anything about congenital heart defects until it happened to us or to somebody that we cared about. So we're now 70 families strong and growing, you know, every day. My name's Donnie Wilson. Uh, I'm actually on the board for uh, Helping Hands Healing Hearts Rhode Island. And uh, my son Jacob was born with CHD, congenital heart defect, last May of 2009. Uh, his defect was critical aortic stenosis, and, uh, which means his aortic valve was closed. Uh, we were lucky that we found out in utero, so we transferred all care to Boston Children's Hospital, and uh, the pregnancy was planned, and uh, his first uh, procedure happened the night he was born. And uh, he's had a few of those. He's actually one of the success stories. He's doing very, very well so far. Uh, we, he, has, he has not required open heart surgery yet. So. Bethany Turcott, and this is Nicholas. He has HLHS. As far as I know, it's very um, uncommon, but I know a lot of people who have it. Um, he's had three open heart surgeries. He just had his third one last August. Um, he's doing really well. As you can see, he's very hyper. <laughs> He just turned three, June 25th, and he's got a lot of energy. He doesn't stop all day long. My name is Roy Sawira. Um, I had a daughter. She was born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome uh, in October of 2008, and I became a member, me and my fiance, of Helping Hands Healing Hearts. She basically spent 13 months of her life in Boston and at the Children's Hospital. Uh, she had quite a few open heart surgeries. Um, she came home a couple of times for a very short period. Other than that, I mean, she was very, very happy baby. You can never tell the difference. She was always laughing, smiling. You never knew that uh, she had a heart defect. She passed away in uh, November 15th of 2009 at uh, 13 months. Caitlin Rose Pacheco, Olivia Marie Ostagai, Shania Kennerly, Angel Silvero and Jasper Johnson. Some people come into our lives and quickly go. Some people move our spirit to dance. They take us to new understanding with the passing whisper of their wisdom. Some people make the sky more beautiful to gaze upon. They stay in our lives for a while, leave footprints in our hearts, and we are never, ever the same.
since the last picnic, the, um, the big news would be that we joined and decided to become a chapter of Mended Little Hearts. That was the big decision that's happened since last summer, and that's been a great decision. We have um, a larger board this year. Um, so we have myself as a group coordinator, Gina Silva is our education coordinator, Heidi Blaze is our membership coordinator, Anna Abrantes is our treasurer, um, Donnie Wilson is our fundraising coordinator, uh, Julie Ostagai is our angel coordinator, and Jessica Salima is our secretary, and Stephanie Rastelli, who couldn't be here today unfortunately, is our visiting coordinator. Um, we've you know, grown in membership over the last year, and we're trying to, we're incorporating a lot more guest speakers into our meetings, so we've had a lot of local resources um, that are available to families um, have come to speak on behalf of their organizations and what they can offer to our members. You know, trying to make sure that everybody has what they need on the local level, you know, because often when you leave the hospital, you're not really given a lot of that information, especially since most of our families are treated in Boston. You know, any resources you might get are typically local to Boston. So, you know, we're trying to be, you know, a resource here for them. My son, Will, is now four and a half. He's doing fantastic. Um, he actually goes next week for his annual appointment, but we're, you know, not expecting anything other than the status quo, which is, um, you know, really, he's doing well. He has no restrictions right now. He's on no meds, but he will have surgery eventually. And uh, the other thing for me is I had another little girl, Anna, who's now two months old and who is confirmed heart healthy. So, you know, that was a scary decision to make to, you know, go on to have another child and worrying if this was going to happen to us again. Um, but we're fortunate enough that, you know, she's healthy and Will just adores her and it's, it's great to see him, you know, how much he loves his little sister. And, you know, it's, it's amazing to think what we went through with him. I remember laughing with the doctor, asking him some questions that were probably seemed silly and seemed like a first time parent, but I said, you know, you have to remember Will wasn't even home at this age yet. So <laughs> there were things, you know, different this time around that, you know, last time he had round the clock care for the first seven weeks. So <laughs> six, seven weeks. So it's been a different experience, but you know, he reminds us every day just how lucky we are. So it's been a good year. Well, um, I, I wish I would have found out about them when we were going through everything at the beginning. We kind of found out uh, after we got home with our son. Um, it's meant a lot to me just to get involved. I think uh, like anything else, you don't know what, what your mission is going to be until it's handed to you. And uh, when they asked me to be on the board, it was an honor to be involved with it. And uh, you know, it, this group is all about support of the families. And uh, you know, a lot of these little kids who, who do uh, do so well, it's great to help the parents that are going through it. And um, also for you know, the unfortunate cases where they lose children, you know, we're there for them. And events like we had today uh, make a big difference for all of us. Just to have a connection with other heart families because they know exactly what we've been through. Um, it's a support system and we just love having other people that we can talk to and connect with. If you need somebody that you got to talk to, if you're going through a situation uh, some, somewhat like I went through, me and my fiance may have went through, um, definitely it, you know, get in contact with Helping Hands, Kelly Carlson or Julie Ostergai, and uh, you know, they'll definitely be there for you. Give me friendships with other heart moms, Bethany. People that have been through, gosh, I'm so emotional. People that have been through similar situations and understand what we're going through and can give us some support. Well, they've been there for us ever since day one. Um, basically, I mean, if you ever you feel like you need someone to talk to, um, they're very good with support. They're able to be there for you when they need them. Uh, they really understand, you know, the type of things that you're going through. They're able to uh, just basically, you know, be a shoulder for you and maybe answer some questions and help you get through some of the uh, difficult experience that you may have with some of the doctors see you. at times. I can't wait to love you. Can't wait to hear you cry Your superhero fantasy Falling from heaven to rescue me With you in my life I'm flying